Matt here. Welcome back to the 1284. And in this video, we're going to do a CGC unboxing. Thank God some books finally came back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I had recently submitted as late as August uh, a box of um, CGC books. It was only about seven, actually it was ten books. Seven were modern, I think three were economy that I submitted, um, which was a change from my normal submissions of monthly, I typically do a 25 book pre-screen. But I've got a, a bunch of books that aren't 9.8s that I really wanted to get submitted um, and see how they came out. Believe it or not, they're back already, which is astounding because my May submission, which is a 25 book pre-screen, is still sitting out there along with three or four other pre-screens that I have. These books literally were sent in in August and they're back already. Go figure. So I have cut open the box. It's a smaller one. Um, and we're going to see how we did. Now. Let me just see from here. Yeah, it looks like these are just the seven modern books that I submitted. Um, I will put a card or a link up above if you'd like to see the ones that went in. Um, but let's go through the grades that came back. Uh, let's see. Okay, good. So these are all the back sides. All right. So let me do this. So this first one, this is the uh, West Coast Avengers 45. This is obviously the first colorless vision this one was pressed and cleaned and 9-2 okay so not bad I picked this one up this is a newsstand copy uh, I picked this up at my LCS I think I paid 50 bucks or so for this um, had it pressed and cleaned uh, nice copy uh, does have some some spine ticks on it so uh, definitely not a 9-8 contender um, as I had said, but a 9-2 nonetheless, uh, not horrible, not necessarily near mint, um, but still a good one. So that is book number one. Let's see. Next up. Fantastic 4 to 11. So this is a book I had picked up from... Uh, Jason over at the uh, at Comic Pro uh, on Instagram. Um, this was the first appearance of Terex. Uh, you know, I, I would say mid-grade copy that I purchased from him raw. Uh, I did have it pressed and clean uh, by Lenny at Spineworks. And 8.5. Okay. Not horrible. About what what's uh, to be expected. This one was definitely a mid-grade copy. Um, still a nice one to have. You know, uh, this book has picked up, or at least I've seen it lately, um, more prominent on postings on Instagram and all. I don't know that there's any big news regarding it, but nonetheless, um, first appearance of Terex, uh, I will take it. And hopefully uh, the uh, different Heralds of Galactus will turn out to, uh, to pan out in the long run. So that is invoicing. Next up, we've got Amazing Spider-Man 257. Um, this is the second appearance of Puma, but uh, I believe this is the Ned Leeds becomes Hobgoblin one. Please correct me if I'm wrong. You can put it in the comments down below. But I believe this is more of a Hobgoblin appearance or potential spec than it really is the uh, second appearance of Puma. Uh, this one I did pick up out in the wild, um, again pressed and cleaned, and let us see how we did. 9-2, seems to be a little bit of a trend right now. Uh, second appearance of Puma is noted, Black Cat, Hobgoblin, Rose, and Kingpin appearance, uh, 1984 Amazing Spider-Man. So. 9-2, uh, hopefully we can get some 9-4s and hires and the rest, but so far it is what it is. Uh, four books left, come on, let's get something good. 
All right, what do we got here? Okay, Ghost Rider. Uh, this is uh, volume two, number one. This is the first appearance of Dan Ketch as the Ghost Rider. This is my third one of these submit uh, that I've submitted. Uh, one I submitted was a 9.8 and came back, or came back as a 9.8. Another one uh, came back as a 9.4, and I sold that one. And this one, whatever it is, I'm going to sell. But this was pressed and cleaned. And 9.4. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, this notes on here, first appearance of Dan Ketch's Ghost Rider. First appearance of Death Watch as well. Um, I don't know if that first appearance of Death Watch is a new addition to the label or not. I have to check my... My other copy, uh, I don't necessarily remember that, but that's nice. Uh, nice copy, I'll be honest with you. This is a tough book in high grade um, because you've got that you've got that dark spine, as you can kind of see, that makes it a little tougher. Back has a uh, nice yellow and black, which is always a fun uh, candidate. Uh, so this 9-4 uh, near mint copy will go up for sale. I'm going to put this up on short box. I'll probably put a link in the description um, as well. And I have one copy left, which is a mid-grade copy, but it is a newsstand that I am going to uh, try and get submitted. So um, I'll see how that comes back. But I'm happy with a 9.4 on this particular one. So, all right. Next one up is, let's see, X-Men 125. Uh, this book is one where I had submitted on a 9-8 pre-screen from Josh Avery. If you haven't seen that video, that was the video that came back from CGC where something went horribly wrong. Um, I just had a bunch of books that were 9-8 candidates come back um, rejected and damaged and in other bags and boards that I had not placed them in. So. Um, that was a mess of a video, but you can watch that if you like. Um, this one, uh, Josh had agreed to repress for me, and so I sent it back to him, um, uh, and it was repressed. And 9-0. I mean, it is what it is, but obviously it's disheartening because originally when I had sent it in, I really believed it was a 9-8 candidate. It came back um, with some other ones, which with some damage, and um, I still think it's a, 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 a nice copy. Um, you know, there are still some issues with the book that I do not believe are going to press out. I don't know if you can see it on the back spine. Um, I will look to see if there's any graders notes after, but you know. It is what it is. 9-0 on that one. All right. So we got two books left. Let's see this one. X-Men 130. So this is the first appearance of Dazzler. And this is just one I picked up at one of my local comic shops. I picked this up for 100 bucks raw. It was a mid to high grade copy. Very fine near mint. Um, I did have it pressed. Uh, so let's see how we did. 9 4. I'll take that on this one. Um, still a nice book. Still in, in anything lower than a 9 6, I think it's pretty easily obtainable. Um, I will put the prices for all of these up so you can see as we go. I should have done that uh, or said that originally, but hopefully you'll see them as we go through it. Um, I, I was able to score a 129 copy. And that is over at CGC right now, so hopefully we'll do well on that. But uh, X-Men 130, I am very happy. This is a couple hundred dollar book for this one. Um, and I think it's going to go up as we start to hopefully see the X-Men going in. All right, so last book of the haul, Star Wars number two. So this book has really, really started to gain some traction. Um, because we've got the Obi-Wan uh, uh, Kenobi series coming out. This has a number of appearances as well in this book, just like um, Star Wars number one. I had two copies of Star Wars number one. One I sent in uh, to CBCS, came back a 4.0. Actually, I have that one up for sale. 
and then one I submitted to CGC came back, I believe it was a 9.4, which is great for that book. This was another clean copy that I had pressed and cleaned, and let us see how we did. 9.6, wow, okay. So, that is a banger. Uh, really, really happy about that. Um, you know, 9.6 on uh, Star Wars number two, fantastic. They do not know any of the appearances um, on this one. I know Obi-Wan Kenobi is, I believe, on the uh, cover, but he's not in the one. This one just notes part two of the Star Wars A New Hope movie adaptation. Um, but fantastic book. This book, um, you know, at a 9.6 has to be going for somewhere between eight and nine hundred dollars right now. I think uh, nine eight is about fourteen or fifteen hundred if I remember correctly when I last looked at them. Um, so this is a fantastic book staying in the collection and uh, that's a great way to end. Uh, it is off white to white pages. Doesn't bother me on that at, at all. This book uh, has, you can, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but some, some minor spine indentations. I don't think that was coming out. This was pressed um, by Spineworks. Fantastic job, Lenny. Wow, I did not expect a 9.6. I am really happy with that. Um, you know, and one of the things I will try and show you guys, which I'm looking at now, is if you can see here, there's, I don't know if it's ink or color rub or whatever, but it's, it's right in here and you can tell because it's not around here um, and I don't know if maybe that's what prevented the 9.8 or not but 9.6 nonetheless so so yeah uh, seven books seven hits in a relatively short time which I'm kind of shocked on how this worked go figure I send in a ton of books to CGC back in May they're still waiting I send these in August. These are just regular modern grading, not fast tracked, nothing like that. And it's October 1st and they're back. So um, I don't know how CGC's working now, but it's nice to get some books back. Uh, I just sent out a 25 book pre-screen uh, earlier this week. Um, if you haven't watched that vid video, please go watch it if you're interested. Um, again, Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, what are you submitting right now? Uh, I'm always interested to know what books are you submitting? Are you submitting moderns? Are you going with uh, some of the uh, early modern tier, I'll call them, and copper and bronze age books? Uh, you know, everybody has a different feeling as to where CGC is grading right now. I've seen some really good grading. I've seen some bad grading. We've seen the ultimate fallout issue. Um, that recently uh, happened and I, I, I had just had a conversation uh, yesterday with Lenny about that um, how that's working out but uh, you know CGC has had its ups and downs CBCS same thing uh, they had the issues with the signature veri verification series um, ones where they authenticated a fake signature so I mean they both are kind of on equal footing in that regards I will say I had submitted some modern books for regular grading to CBCS. They're still out there, so I haven't gotten them back. So I wouldn't say that one is over the other right now for speed of grading. Those were regular modern submissions. A little bit different than the $40 submissions I have done in the past with the two-day. Um, those usually take, I would say now, a couple weeks to a month. So if you're willing to spend that, you're going to probably get the books back a lot faster. But you know, uh, the time frame on this was less than 60 days for seven books. Not not too bad. I don't know if that's going to happen to everybody. Um, I still have a bunch out there. I probably have another 175 books at CGC. So hopefully we're going to start getting some stuff back before the holidays. And I'll have some more videos uh, for you guys as well. Again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.